Hello everyone, I am Rafael. I am a PhD student at the National University of Singapore in the School of Computing. It's my pleasure to present today TUGDA, which is a task uncertain guided domain adaptation method for robust uh, generalization of cancer drug response prediction from in vitro to in vivo settings. Introduction. So, uh, advances in DNA sequence technology have galvanized a paradigm shift in oncology. From one size uh, fits all approach to precision oncology that's tailored to stratified, uh, stratified populations uh, based on molecular information. This, allied to the availability of a large uh, number of cancer cell lines, has provided ready models for collecting drug response data. We can name some large uh, scale omics database, such as DGSC. CCLE, and CTRP. Where given a set of M drugs, this consortia is screening the M drugs and N cell lines, providing metrics like IC50 or area under the curve, in addition to the omics profiles, such as gene expression and mutations. So uh, this database uh, presents a unique opportunity to advance precision college based on the state-of-the-art machine learning techniques. Following this, in the last years, uh, we have been presented with machine learning models using omics data such as gene expression to predict cancer drug response. A large number of the current approaches uh, rely on the single drug model paradigm. Here, uh, the approach works by training a model per drug, giving that a set of any cell lines. You can repeat the same procedure to a second drug and so on. However, uh, the limitation here lies in the fact that omics data is high dimensional if the number of features large than samples. To alleviate this problem, multitask learning is employed to virtually increase the sample size by training one single model that jointly predict, predicts all drug response at once, given a cell line omics data. This approach has been shown uh, state-of-the-art results in the previous benchmarking. Still, uh, these methods are trained using cell lines. Although a good proxy to study cancer, uh, cell, uh, when compared to patient data, cell lines are lacking properties such as tumor microenvironment and vascular tool, besides the immune system. But one advantage lies in the fact that it's easier to collect drug response. If you use patient-derived xenograph PDX data, still, when compared to a patient, these models are lacking uh, immune system. If you want a machine learning model with precision college utility, Patient data would be the would be the source. How, however, uh, we have limited uh, labeled patient data. Still, we have a large uh, number of unlabeled patient samples from CCDA that could be used. So, uh, some previous works uh, address this gap of predicting cancer drug response in patients. Gillen et al. followed by Sakharopoulos et al. first removed the, the batch effects from cell lines in patients' data sets. Later, they train a linear regression in the case of Giller or a multilayer perceptron for Sakharopoulos to put drug response in patients. However, the work relies on the assumption that uh, source and, and target data originate from the same distribution. Next, we have a family of domain, domain adaptation methods. Here, we have the nice work of Mohan Giral, no, no as precise, and it, 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 it extension uh, transact. The goal is to find a shared feature space between data sets via manifold uh, alignment process, either using PCA, such as uh, uh, imprecise, uh, such as non imprecise, or using a kernel PCA, PCA as non transact. In the end, a linear regression uh, is trained using this learned projection. It's still, uh, this, projection, this projection is not constrained to the drug response prediction. AITL from Sharif Nogabi et al. relies on a adversarial domain adaptation approach where a discriminator is uh, responsible to classify the sample domain, where while uh, the, the feature extractor aims to fool the discriminator. Here, uh, we are left with a shared feature uh, space between domains that can be used to predict uh, cancer drug response. AITL uses the already limited labeled patient data in a supervised domain adaptation manner, besides relying on the covariate shift uh, assumption, which uh, we'll discuss later might be a strong assumption. We can also say that all of these previous works are single drug modules. To summarize, uh, we have the best of the two worlds. Multitask learning when, when using cell lines and domain adaptation to predict cancer drug response in patients. So uh, how can you have these uh, two in a unified manner? Uh, 
uh, we observed that multitask learning and domain adaptation as being uh, 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 transfer learning paradigms are prone to negative transfer. So TUGDA is a method that alleviates negative transfer in both settings in a unified manner. First, I'll discuss what is, uh, is negative transfer in multitask learning settings. This behavior can occur uh, when uh, unrelated tasks are landed together, uh, when poor predictions impact the shared representation of features, and so on. One way to measure it, uh, negative transfer is to compare the performance of a single task model and its multitask version. If the performance is worse in the multitask setting, we can say that this drug is experiencing a negative transfer. It might be a noisy uh, predictor hurt, hurting the, the performance for the other joint training drugs. TUGDA allows a uh, predictor for, for the reliable tasks to have a high uh, contribution to the feature learning while alleviating, uh, while, while alleviating the, the influences of noisy predictors. In addition, TUGDA extends uh, previous methods by capturing different uncertainties using it to weight the feature transfer. So uh, he comes to the for MTL. Uh, we train together using concept uh, cell line gene expression. And together is a neural network consisting of an input layer and a layer L, which compress the features to a shared feature space Z, use it as an input to the multitask layer S, responsible for predict all tasks at once. At this point, together is no different from a vanilla multitask learning with hard parameter sharing. However, uh, TUGDA captures two different uncertainties, using it to guide uh, the transfer from task to features. Based on the work of uh, Kendall and Garing from 2017, uh, we uh, captured two uncertainties. The first one is the homogeneous uncertainty, also known as aleatoric. This uncertainty stays con constant for all input data and varies only between different tasks and has been shown to control negative transfer that might appear uh, when give all task losses the same importance. The second uncertainty is known as epistemic, also known as model uncertainty, uh, which captures the uncertainty in the model itself and it, it can be reduced uh, if you give more data. For this, uh, we employ uh, dropout variational inference. So uh, we extend TUGDA to capture these uncertainties in this framework, where we minimize the loss for all the tasks at once. Regarding that TUGDA used task uncertainty to alleviate negative transfer from noisy predictions into the shared feature space. We can measure this uh, by compute the task uncertainty UT, the variance in our, our predictions. Now, imagine that this ta the second task here is a noisy one. Still, uh, how can you let this uh, feature space Z know, know about this? For this, uh, we have autoencoder regularization term which is responsible for flowing this information back to the future space C. Here, uh, we have a, this matrix A in charge uh, to control uh, the, the flow from tasks to features. Now, uh, given one, one task T, we compute the mod model uncertainty UT during the training time and use it to weight the row uh, AT from the task to feature matrix A. Note that we impose L1 regularization here meaning that we expect unreliable tasks having high uncertainty to be sparse in A, and thus uh, not, not affecting the reliable predictions and the feature, sp uh, and the feature space Z when this regularization term is, term is minimized. We train and evaluate this version of TUGDA uh, using the DGSC dataset. We predict IC50 values for 200 drugs at once. And then we compare it together against the state-of-the-art multitask learning methods that tackle negative transfer. As can be seen here, uh, together overcomes all previous methods with the lowest median MSE. Uh, we also reported uh, results for together ablated versions, uh, namely together only having uh, aleatoric uncertainty, only epistemic, and both epistemic and aleatoric, but lacking the UT weight of the task to feature matrix A. To quantify the negative transfer behavior, we trained single drug linear regression models. Then uh, the MSE of the single drug model is subtracted from the corresponding multitask learning version. With this, uh, positive values indicate negative transfer. Here, uh, took represented fewer tasks with negative transfer when compared to previous methods and also its ablated versions. 
We next reported results on the more challenging tasks with smaller sample sizes. In this setting, we have uh, 19 drugs. We devised this experimental setup to reflect a more realistic scenario where drug response can be limited. Here again, uh, Tugder presented fewer tasks with negative transfer when compared to previous methods and Tugder bladed versions. Taken together, uh, these results show, shows the importance of addressing task uncertainty in multitasking learning settings and Tugder's utility in, more, uh, in a more realistic scenario. So uh, we presented how Tugger alleviates negative turns in MTL settings. Uh, we also reported positive results. But these results are, uh, are on models only trained using uh, cancer cell lines. So uh, we still needed to transfer this knowledge to patient data. So for that, uh, previous methods uh, rely on domain adaptation, uh, which is also prone to negative transfer when there is a weak or no similarity between domains or when the adaptation relies on covariate shift assumption, meaning that the marginal distribution is allowed to defer, uh, while the conditional distribution is assumed to be the same. This assumption uh, might be strict for transfer drug response from cell lines to patients. For example, uh, there are drugs that are effective in vitro, but do not uh, successfully translate to the clinical setting. So uh, TUGD alleviates covariate shift assumption for domain adaptation. So uh, how does TUGD alleviate negative transfer in domain adaptation? We extended uh, the TUGD MTL, including uh, unsupervised step now. And in this step, we can use unlabeled PDX data if you want to predict for PDX, or unlabeled uh, patient data if you want to predict for a patient. We also add a discriminator D, responsible for classifying the feature Z, uh, either coming from cell line in PDX or cell line in patient. And this is trained adversarially uh, in the sense that features in Z need to fool the discriminator D. Now uh, we have a feature space Z that contains uh, shared features from different domains. And as we regularize uh, transfer from tasks to features using task uncertainty, we constrain now our, our model to transfer less from predictors with a high uncertainty based on shared features from different domains and task Z. So, an important byproduct of this formulation is the relaxation of the covariate uh, shift assumption for transferring information from high uh, uncertain predictions. In the sense that if a predictor is uncertain about its prediction using shared features between domains, it is likely that these features are not conserved and thus not worth the transfer. With this, uh, took the strain in an end-to-end -end fashion as follows. We extend the MTL loss by adding the adversarial loss now. Here, uh, we reported to the results for uh, transfer cancer drug response from cell line to PDX. So in the supervised step, uh, step uh, we trained Tugda using DGSC. And in the our supervised step, we used uh, PDX uh, from the Novartis uh, dataset. We test the model performance in 14 uh, shared drugs uh, between DGSC and PDX uh, by computing the spumer correlation between DGSC, uh, DGSC AUC predictions and PDX best average response. As baselines, uh, we have ElasticNet trained solid in cell lines, uh, ElasticNet plus combat, which is uh, similar to uh, Gilher, where we perform a, uh, performed a batch effect correction DL is a feed for neural network, and DL plus combat is a approach similar to Sakiropoulos. In addition, precise and transact, uh, previous methods uh, performing uh, domain adaptation. So out of uh, 14 drugs, uh, to represent the highest uh, spermal correlation for nine drugs. Furthermore, uh, when checking these results for uh, moderate or higher correlations, uh, to represent eight uh, out of 14 drugs above this threshold. So uh, when transferring uh, from cell lines to patients, uh, we use the TCGA uh, data set in the uh, supervised step. We test uh, model performance in 22 shared drugs between DGSC and TCGA uh, using the labeled data curated by Dinger al from 2016. Uh, we report the main witness, uh, witness test uh, between predicted AUC values of responders and non-responder samples. 
Uh, the baselines are the same as in the PDX eval evaluation with methods not adapted uh, and methods doing adaptation. Here, uh, TUGDA presents nine significant associations and the largest uh, effect, size, effect size in seven out of 22 drugs. So, uh, out of these uh, 31 uh, different drugs tested across the two domains, TUGDA captured significant associations either by uh, spumeric correlation or uh, largest effect, effect size for uh, 14 drugs. In comparison, uh, the next uh, best method, uh, TRANSACT, captures significant associations for six. It's important to say that TUGDA also presented the largest improvements when compared to the next best, best method. As can be seen in the, the red, uh, red box, where the, the top uh, largest improvements are all coming from TUGDA. So in summary, uh, TUGDA is a novel uh, unified uh, transfer learning approach for multitask, multitask learning and domain adaptation that leverages the concept of task domain uncertainty. We show the utility in, in scenarios uh, presenting sample size limitations or a lack of uh, curated in vivo data. TUGDA also uh, presents a realistic assumption uh, when transferring uh, predictions across domains. So uh, TUGDA utilities, uh, TUGDA ability, uh, took this ability uh, to avoid negative transfer. Uh, this provides a key capability as you try to integrate diverse drug response data sets to build uh, consistent predictive models with in vivo utility. I would like to acknowledge ASTAR, uh, NUS, and the School of Computing, uh, Genome Institute of Singapore. Also, a huge uh, thank you to my supervisor, Dr. Niranja Nagaranja, and my co author, Dr. Shea Port Suvavilai. Also, uh, thank you to Prof. Wong Lin Sung from NUS and all my lab mates from MTMS. You can find the source code at, at GitHub, and if you have further questions, you can reach me on Twitter. Uh, I'm looking forward to take questions now. Thank you.